Hey guys, it's Hassan here. In today's video, I'll talk about how we can optimize our page load time for our Shopify stores by lazy loading images. So we all know how important um, optimizing our page performance is. Um, there's a lot of research and statistics that show that if we don't, if our page doesn't load within a allotted amount of time, then we lose a lot of users. The bounce rate might be really high and we as a result, lose conversions. So page performance is definitely something we should try and uh, improve where we can. And one way is to laser load images. Images are one of the heaviest things to load onto a website. So we really need to find ways to optimize that, especially if you've got lots of images on your site, which is pretty typical for an e-commerce store. I'll put some, um, links to some articles in the description below where you can read about why uh, loading your pages within a short period of time is so important. So let's get straight into it. What is lazy loading? Lazy loading is just a way to defer or delay loading your images until they come into view for the user. So you can see this on websites like medium.com where you are scrolling down the page and you might notice just for a brief millisecond the image is in like a very low quality um, or low resolution and after you after a millisecond it straight away um, converts or changes to its to the high resolution image and that's an example of lazy loading so that's how we're gonna try and implement it for our Shopify stores we're going to initially load the low quality images on page load, which allows the page to load super quickly or a lot faster. And then once the user scrolls to the to that section where the image is located, then we load the high resolution image. Um, this enables us, of course, to load the page a lot more faster. If you were to have all your images as high resolution from the top of the page to the bottom of the page, then you'll find maybe your page loads a bit slower, which could cost you some conversions. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we have our store called um, Shirts and Sons. And here we have a banner image. And you notice that when I load the page, for a brief second that you might have noticed that there was like a low quality image displayed for a second. And then the high quality image appears. So that, that's an example of lazy loading. Um, this is a built-in feature of Shopify, as far as I can tell, for all themes. I haven't tested across all themes, but all the themes that I've used seem to use um, lazy loading for their images. However, if you were to add it, your images manually, they wouldn't be lazy loaded, of course. And that's what I'm here to show you how to do today. So there's a library called Lazy Sizes. And this is the repository. And I'll leave a link to this in the description. And Shopify loads this library in in the theme by default. So that's a, it's a pretty good library to use. If you find it's not loaded in your theme, you may use this script, add this script to your theme.liquid file. Lazy sizes. Yep, you can see it's here already. I haven't added this. You just add it above the slash head tag. And then you have access to this library's features. And this library has a few different features that are pretty useful for um, images. One of them is resizing images according to the device, the width of the screen and the different devices. So that's pretty useful. But the, Im the, the feature we're going to talk about today is the lazy loading feature. So it doesn't require much configuration. Essentially, we just need to lazy add this class lazy load and then add our low quality image in our CRC attribute, and then add a high quality image inside our data slash CRC attribute. But before we do that, I wanna run through how helpful lazy loading can be. So if you go to, if you right click, if you right click on your website and click inspect, and click on network, then click on all, you have a list of files that are needed to create your site. 
you'll see you have CSS files that are in charge of styling your website. You'll see you have JavaScript files which are in charge of interactivity. And then of course you'll see um, your image files. And just to show you how heavy images are, if we click on size here, order by the largest size, we can see that the largest file we have is this image here, it's 214 kilobytes, which is not that big. Images can be a lot bigger than that. Uh, our second biggest file is a CSS file, and our third biggest file is an, another image file. And this image file is what we're going to laser load. This is the image that I've added manually into our index.liquid file. Um, so this is a file we're going to laser load. We can see it's 126 kilobytes that we're loading on page load, which isn't necessary because this image is further down the page, so the user won't see it on page load. So this would be an image that we could lazy load. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. So the first thing we need to do is we want to make a low quality, um, low size version of this image. So to do that, we can use a you can use a, a tool like image resizer so i'll paste put this in the description also and essentially this just allows you to resize the image if you're a graphic designer i guess you can use photoshop to do this um so what you can do is just scroll upload your image and then scroll down to resize your image and make it the smallest you can make it so in this case i just made it one times two pixels it's a tiny image and then i click to resize and then download your image of course and then once you download the image, you can upload it. If you go to assets here and add new asset, and then upload your image, and then your images will be served. That image will be served by the Shopify servers. And now we have our low quality image and our high quality image. We have both. Okay, so now let's go ahead to our index.liquid file. So here we have our our image and it is loading the the high quality image so we want to go ahead and use the low quality image instead so let's go ahead and hit it so when the page loads it will look for the crc attribute and it will load this this url so we're going to change this so it loads the low quality image instead and now if you reload the page you can see the low quality image is appearing okay so now we can look at the laser loading functionality the first thing we need to do is add our, add our class lazy load to our image tag so here we have class lazy load. Okay. Then the second thing we need to do is add our data CRC attribute with our high quality um, image. So it would be something like this. Just go ahead and copy this image object and let's get the high quality image. Okay, so the way this library works is here we have our CRC which will load on page load, then we have our data CRC, and when the user scrolls down to this image, it will get the data CRC value, which is this asset URL, and put it inside the source URL. So this helps a lot because it prevents the high quality image being loaded on page load, which will delay the load time even more, which will possibly annoy the user and cause them to bounce, which we don't want. So we can see this in action. If you play, if you pay very close attention, you might notice for just a brief second, the image will stay in low quality before eventually got moving uh, to the high quality image. So let's try this again. 
you can see it in the Shopify banner. But it's, I think it's maybe too fast, too quick to see. Okay, there, there you go. I saw it there for a brief second. So that's a very cool and all, but let's see the effect on the file size of the images, which is the most important thing, right? So let's reload the page one more time. And here we can see our low quality image. You see it's tiny. It's just 794 bytes. And our high quality image is 126 bytes. So this, this allows our page to load a lot faster. If you can imagine, 794 bytes is just, it's about 0 0.7 kilobytes. So there's a massive reduction in file size, which which allows the, the the web to grab that file a lot more easy easily and fa quicker than the high quality image. So if you imagine you you have thirty images on, on a collection page, you you are you're reducing the size of your images by a magnitude of ten, which is fantastic, right? So uh, th this has a this has a huge effect on your load time and hopefully you find this useful and it, it reduces the amount of bounces you get on your site and hopefully increases your conversions. Thank you for watching my video. If you've enjoyed my content and you want more Shopify content, please subscribe and feel free to leave any questions in the comments. I'll do my best to reply to all of them. Thank you so much for listening. Have an amazing day and stay safe. Peace.